Hello and welcome. Today we're going to talk about the dental syringe and how it's used to give local analgesia. This is a classic dental syringe. It's made of stainless steel, so it's autoclavable, so it cleans, so it's cleaned after every use. The the interesting thing to note with this version is that this loop here, and this loop here makes this syringe defined as an aspirating syringe. And what that loop is used for is it's where the thumb enters the syringe and that means that you can, instead of just injecting the solution by pushing down with your thumb, you can use your thumb to pull backwards on the syringe and aspirate or drag fluid back into it. The other key features of this syringe is that it has this opening or space here where when you put the liquid in, in its glass container, you can actually see the liquid through this opening. And that means that when you do aspirate through the needle that would be off the end here, that if you get any blood into the carpule, you'll be able to see it through the opening. The needle itself is attached to this end here. And if you look very closely, we'll just get a little closer here, if you look very closely, you can see it's got some thread on it, that end just there. And that thread is where the needle actually is screwed on to the, car, to the syringe. And the other key feature to this syringe is up here at this end, get this out of the way, where you can unscrew just here, like this, and then the syringe folds at 90 degrees and that folding at 90 degrees allows you to drop the liquid that is going to be injected in its glass carpule down into the barrel. This part of the syringe is called the barrel and you can drop the liquid in its little carpule straight down this hole here and it will fall all the way to the bottom so then when you tighten the needle on the end here, the needle will engage with the liquid. You then rotate the top back, tighten up the screw mechanism, and then you will be able to use the syringe. There's one other small feature that's actually quite hard to see that uh, is important on these types of syringes. If you look very closely at the tip of this uh, moving part here that you actually press into the liquid. Do you notice that it's sort of a pyramid shaped end? That's called a barb and that means that when the tip of the uh, arm here engages engages with the um, carpule, it will lock in and not be released as you pull backward. So that barb on the end is important to allowing this syringe to be aspirating. There are other types of dental syringes on the market, ones that don't have this loop here. And these are the newer sorts of versions, where the carpule that fits within here actually has some pressurised gas in it, and these are called self-aspirating syringes. So what happens when you use a, imagine that there's no loop here, just a flat area, with a self-aspirating syringe, if you take your finger off the trigger here, the syringe will by itself pull backwards on the carpule and aspirate any liquid that's on the end of the needle. So that's the second variety that is sort of the newer variety, but this is the standard dental syringe. And just to remind you, the needle is screwed on this end here. The carpel itself of liquid sits within the barrel here. It has this loop here that makes it an aspirating syringe to allow you to drag backwards with your thumb. And at this end it has a little screw mechanism that allows you to open up the end of the barrel to be able to push the carpule of liquid down and in. And the last key feature on this 
is the small barb at the end of the driving mechanism that allows you to engage the carp pill and be able to aspirate with it.